am going to discuss how this shunt capacitor filter works and do its analysis to understand the effect of this capacitance on the output waveform. I am sure you will surprise to see when I change the value of this capacitor what is the effect on output waveform. So this I am going to show later on on this video. So stay connected. Namaskar everyone. Welcome to another video on video lecture series on Multisim tutorial. If you want to learn various things about Multisim, the link of complete playlist on Multisim is provided down in description box. Now first of all we are going to prepare the circuit. So in preparation of the circuit you can observe from here that we have a bridge full wave rectifier with a shunt capacitor filter is ready with us. But when we want to do analysis only this circuit is not enough. What do we want? We will prepare another copy of this circuit. So we will just copy this thing and replicate another one right so this is the another similar circuit the waveform and everything remains the same right just uh, separate these two out and what we will do we will remove capacitor from this so the above circuit is of full bridge rectifier with shunt capacitor filter and this circuit is full bridge rectifier without shunt capacitor filter. One more thing I want to tell you, if you want to learn how to prepare this full bridge rectifier circuit in multisim, then there is a separate video for that and the link for that video is provided down in description. Right? So you can check that out and you can learn how to prepare this circuit. Also, there is one separate video which explains the complete working of full bridge rectifier. In this video, our complete focus will be on the filters only. If you want to learn about the working of full bridge rectifier, there is a separate video and you can watch this later on. Now what we are going to do, we want to observe the output waveform and do a comparative analysis. So what we will do, we will bring a oscilloscope from right hand side. The third or uh, the fourth one is oscilloscope, right? Here we have a two channel oscilloscope. If you want to know how to operate this two channel oscilloscope, then again, there is a separate video for that. And the link for that video is provided down in description box. Here, we are not going to discuss the functionality of this oscilloscope. What we'll do, this is a simple uh, look of oscilloscope. We'll close it in channel A. We will connect this output, the output of our first circuit, and in channel B, we will connect the output of our second circuit. Right. So this is how you can prepare both this circuit. Right. Now we are going to discuss a theoretical aspect of this filter. See, basically if we talk about this shunt capacitor filter, the capacitive reactance of this filter that is Xc. Xc is nothing but the the opposition offered to the current by this capacitor and the equation of this x is 1 upon omega c or you can write this thing as 1 upon 2 pi f c where c is the value of capacitance which is mentioned over here over here we have mentioned it as 100 microfaraday and f is the frequency now let's do a small comparative analysis theoretical analysis 
once we talk about DC and then we will talk about AC. Can anyone tell me what is the frequency of DC? Those who know the frequency of DC, please write this thing in comment section below. I am eager to see your responses. Please write this thing in comment section. The frequency of DC is 0 hertz. Right? What frequency of AC? What is the frequency of AC in your nation? Please write comment section below name of your nation and the frequency in your nation. This is very important thing, right? Because across the world, several nations has a different rules for frequency. Many nation follows 60 hertz frequency pattern and many nation follows 50 hertz frequency system, right? So the frequency of AC will be either 50 hertz or 60 hertz. I want to know what is the frequency in your nation. So please write the name of your nation and frequency of your nation. Now let's move ahead. From this thing, once if we place frequency is equal to 0, then Xc is equal to 1 upon 0 and 1 upon 0 gives infinite. That means... For DC, the capacitive reactance is infinite. That means it behave as purely open circuit, right? Infinite resistance, pure insulator or a super insulator or simply we can call it as open circuit. So if we try to flow a DC current from this capacitor, it will not allow current to pass through this capacitor. So this is the meaning of this is xc is equal to infinite. Now let's go for ac. Here frequency is 50 or either 60. Whatever the frequency 50 or 60 but there is 1 upon uh, let's call it as 1 1 1 1 everything is 1. But there is some finite value x x y z. There is some finite value and when there is some finite value, xa is equal to some abc finite value, right? We are not going deep into the calculation what exactly the value of xc, but we can say that there is some finite value of xc and this value of xc is much, much less as compared to this infinite. So when we flow AC current to this capacitor, it will allow current to flow through this or we can say less resistive path than offered by xc so it is very much clear from this theoretical understanding that if we connect this capacitor and if we give ac current ac current can pass through this if we give dc current dc current cannot pass through this so this is the simple understanding the theoretical understanding of this filter and that is why we have connected this capacitor in parallel. See, the output of this rectifier is DC plus AC. But the output we desire is pure DC. And what is the aim of this shunt capacitor filter? The aim is to remove this AC from DC. So when we connect this capacitor in parallel, what does it do? This has DC plus AC, what will happen? AC has least resistance path over here in this capacitor. So all the AC component will be diverted into this capacitor and it will offer very high resistive path to this DC component. So that DC component does not go in this path and it will go straight to the load. And this is how we can get a pure DC at output terminal. So this is what all about the theory of this shunt capacitor filter. Now we are going to jump into practical simulation. We will run the circuit, observe the waveform and understand how this thing works. Before we jump into the simulation and do analysis of this circuit, I would like to request you Please give a like to this video because your one like helps a lot. And you can also write in comment section if you want to know anything more about Multisim tutorials. I have my Facebook page of Learning Vibes, Facebook group on Learning Vibes 
and Instagram account on Learning Vibes. You can see so many funny and interesting stuffs regarding this subject. If you are interested in those funny and inspiring stuffs, you can follow me on all those social media. <laughs> now, after this small advertisement, we will quickly jump towards the practical approach, the practical simulation and analysis of the circuit. So now let's begin that thing. What we'll do for that, we'll open this and we'll keep this thing over here. See, the source voltage, frequency, transformer ratio, everything is same in both the circuit. Just there is only one difference. In above circuit there is a filter and in below circuit there is no filter and why we have we are doing this thing because to observe it clearly to observe this thing on single scope that if we apply a filter what is the effect and if there is no filter then what is the effect right so with filter and without fi filter what is the effect on output waveform that is what we are going to study and that is what we are going to understand right so uh, to make two different colors of waveform what i am going to do i am going to change the color of this segment and make it blue so blue waveform is of capacitors output and red waveform is without capacitor output now let's run the circuit here we have the circuit we'll just change uh, we'll stop the circuit and change the output scale right of the rectifier circuit and we are going to change the scale of channel b right we have kept this scale as 20 volts so the scale of channel a is also we should keep it as 20 volts we'll adjust the horizontal scale so that we can observe it appropriately and reverse the background so now you can observe from here that blue waveform is of this circuit and red waveform is of this circuit. So now let's understand from this point what exactly happens over here. This is the waveform of output of the rectifier over here and over here, right? So as gradually the waveform rises or gradually the voltage rises, what will happen? Capacitor starts charging. As the voltage across these two terminal rises like this plus over here and minus over here what will happen capacitor takes some current to charge and some current is transferred to the load. So at this moment capacitor has charged enough right this is in between the waveform let me show you the initial waveform what will happen in very first waveform right. See what will happen in very first waveform capacitor also starts charging with this right. So whenever we start this rectifier capacitor also starts charging with this thing at this moment right at this moment what will happen the voltage across these two terminals voltage across A and B starts reducing right. When the voltage across A and B starts reducing like this, then the voltage of capacitor is more than these two terminals voltage. And what this capacitor will do, then this capacitor will start discharging. And when this capacitor starts discharging, we can observe this waveform like this. It's better if I make this color a black one, right? It's like this, sorry. So this is of discharging of capacitor and this is of the waveform of output of this rectifier. Now after this moment again voltage starts building when this voltage starts building but still it is less than the voltage of capacitor. So what capacitor will do? Capacitor will keep on discharging. It will try to maintain the voltage across the load or the output terminal. When this voltage rises and reaches at this point, 
again this capacitor will start charging right so again now what will happen the point a the potential of point a is higher than the potential of capacitors this terminal so again capacitor will starts charging so from here to here in this moment capacitor will charge right in this duration capacitor will charge and from this to this duration capacitor will discharge so when capacitor discharges what it does it reduces the ripple from the output right what the ripple is it is basically the difference between maximum voltage and minimum voltage right and pure dc has zero ripple so when we introduce this capacitor filter what happens the ripple reduces right let me remove all these things right and just give one mark right this is the peak voltage right and this is the minimum voltage right so this in between these two there is a ripple now what we'll do we will change the magnitude of this capacitance instead of 100 we will make it 250 right why we are making this huge change because this huge change will help you understand the difference clearly. Now again run the circuit, stop it, we'll bring it to first place and observe. See, the initially the ripple was this much, right? But after we increase the value of capacitor, the ripple reduces. Now let me remove this thing for time being and what we'll do we will change the value of this capacitor again right now let's say make it 30 right 30 microfarad so now we have made it 30 and let's say run it again stop bring this to original position and observe over here see the difference in ripple right initially the ripple is moderate when we increase the value of capacitance then ripple reduces and when we decrease the value of capacitance ripple increases so so initially i have told you that you will surprise to see what will happen when we change the value of capacitance and there is the answer this is what happens when we change the value of capacitance in next video we are going to do analysis of inductive series inductive filter and if you want to watch that video i am going to provide the link of that video in description box below i hope you all have enjoyed the video and finally there is one verification and cross check for yourself that whether you have understood this video appropriately or not so there is one question for you i request all of you to answer this question in comment section below and the question is what happens to the output voltage waveform when i increase the value of capacitance i request everybody to answer this question in comment section below if you want to be a part of our community then you can subscribe me on my Facebook, Instagram, over there we are doing lots of funny stuffs regarding this type of subjects and I am sure that you will enjoy having those type of content. So until we meet in our next video, till that time, bye bye.